Good morning, boss. Good morning. You got your happy shirt on today. Yes. Wearing long sleeves. Yeah, I'm not. This is not a uniform shirt. This and she's is, hairy as heck over there. I know. Think? So, Mello is on a new kick right now where as soon as our clean clothes get put into the pile to be folded, he goes and like, climbs on them. Yeah. And wants to lay them. And sleeps on them. Like, so you got to fight him to get your clothes. Yeah. So, and he's a great Pyrenees, you guys. So you ain't beating him. He's 143 <laughs> pounds. No, he's as big as I am. Actually so, bigger than I am. Yeah. Probably. He stands up on his two feet and mm -hmm. he's as tall as me, if not taller. But we're here to prune. It's a nice day today. 64 right now. It's only supposed to be 70. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not going to last long, guys. I think but that's why we have long sleeves on, too, yeah. is because it's we're pruning. Yeah, not necessarily because so it's pruning a, pruning a wood line. So Yeah. But we're going to go ahead and get that done and maybe go do some mowing. Just depends on, like I said, guys, we've been so dry. Things mm -hmm. aren't. The boss is a little worried. She's like, I want rain for aerations. I mean, we can still plug. But we do. It's need gonna rain. be so much harder. So we're putting that off until the thirtieth and the first set week of October, and hoping for rain before then. Yeah. But I was telling the boss that it's supposed to, after tomorrow, get back up to eighty-three to almost ninety degrees for the next, all the way until the third of October. Crazy, you guys. So, okay, we'll show you we what we're doing. So yeah. we're gonna pile all the brush on here so we can drag it out easier. This would be nice to have an open trailer now, right? Be nice to have an open trailer for this one yeah so what we're doing is we're pruning all this back so you can ride his mower so it's all here all by the road here sticking down we're gonna clean this up here maybe open up the sign for him just as a part of it too um and then all see the whole line we're gonna make it nice all the way down and around, all the way back there. So let's go ahead and get it set up and get it done. So what we're using for this is those hedge trimmers, chainsaw, the still um, weed eater to do the border, one of the pole cutters. Um, if I had a combi, it would make the job so much easier, but I don't have one of them right now because I ran it over, right boss? Yeah. So, okay, I'm going to set you guys up and we're going to get this all cleaned up. So as you can see, we got that done. We're gonna, I'm gonna weed eat. So we're bringing everything behind this wood barrier up to where if you're riding a mower here, you don't get snagged by anything. And we're gonna prune up the front entrance a little bit and do that all the way around. So let me go show you what we're doing over here. I'll set you up for that.
Now that's cleaned up. I just gotta blow everything back in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and weed eat all along the border here. That's all poison ivy down there. And then cut some of this out and then we'd eat all along here. Rachel's working on over there. So far it's going pretty good. I mean that's the best I'm gonna get it to look. That was this is like five bushes in one. Hasn't been pruned in a while, so looks good. now Rachel's been working on all this you see all then we'll come at the end and blow all this stuff back into the wood line there I mean we've technically we're only clearing for him to mow but I said you know what I'm gonna make it look nicer and just re-edge the whole border here you know not get way in there but just right there so I'll set you up here Guys, we're going back out to work and look at he has it all in the road look at the neighbor comes down and mows all in the my yard all the time oh man. it's almost it's a pain in the butt I hate man to say that, that shouldn't but... be in the road yeah i know mm -hmm. okay we were so, just well yeah. we were just telling you how the neighbor cuts her grass mm -hmm. even if i have it cut really nice and pretty he'll come back down there and mow it all out into the road. Yeah. Which you guys just seen, but I, I'm not going to cause any trouble with the neighbor, you know? I mean, hey, we're just renting, so we can't complain, but it's really not safe for him to be throwing all that grass out into yeah. the road. I mow several, several passes towards the butterfly garden before I start striping it up. Yeah. You know, so that it doesn't go in the road. <laughs> what are you going to do? But what are you going to do? Right. So, um, we also... We're discussing aeration. Yes. Um, with it being so hot and dry. And it's going to get hot again and still stay a little dry. Mm -hmm. Last year we did aerations all the way up until the end of October. End so. of October. I think we did, like, aerations on Halloween. I yeah. remember doing up on the mountain yeah. remember and, and it 
they all came out good except the grass got hurt this year because of the weather we've been having. yeah the so, grass looked really good up until um about the second drought period in three August, weeks right? ago yeah a month ago three weeks yeah. to a month ago is when it started feeling the effects of the heat turning downhill fast so we're gonna we still are hoping we're gonna start the 30th on mm -hmm. And we're trying to get them all done before GIE again. Yeah. Or not again, this year. And then that'll be two weeks before we did last year. So. Yeah. And I think that definitely that is enough time before um, our first frost. So. I see guy right in front of me. There's a guy. I honestly right, don't right even. Now. Yeah. I, I don't think I would be doing it right now at all. I don't think the first frost is going to hurt it anyway. I think it's just no. going to um, give it. It's some... a hard freeze. You guys got to worry about. You you want to seed the root before a hard freeze comes. Yeah. And and that's like 32 degree under 32 degrees for four hours straight at night. So let's go see what we can get done for the rest of the day. Back here, we're gonna keep going all the way around to the shed there. So not sure if we're gonna get all the way around to there done, but we'll try our hardest. But uh, let me set you up right here and get this. So there we go guys, that's all. I got all the way down to the mole trap there. Now I'm gonna work on all this. Rachel's doing the whole hedge there. All the bottom she can do. And then I'll go and straighten it up. The top, not the whole top. We're just pruning it so it's straight flush across. So let me go over there. We got all this done here, all the way down around to there. And then we, Rachel did a lot of the back. We're gonna shape it up. And then we have all the house to prune, all the bushes around. So let me know what you guys were charged for this job and I'll let you know what we are at the end. So, so it's all these bushes here. So before, all these ones here, all the way around, shape them all up. All the burning bushes need to be shaped up. All this, all this cut back. The hydrange is deadheaded that we treat out. These things all straightened up. And then from the shed back, we gotta finish that over there. And then this one here. And Rachel's gonna take all these out. Not take them out, just deadhead them all. So at the end of the video, I'll tell you what we're doing for the price on this one and the little laurels here. So let's go. So we're done pruning. Um, I'm emptying it out the trailer right now. And what I do is I, I pull it all and pile it up right here and we end up burning everything. And then I take the ashes and put it in the compost. So we do all that. Somebody shooting back there. But uh, let me get this done because we're gonna go mow two more lawns and then I gotta spray one lawn um, with some tenacity because we're gonna be aerating and seeding. So we're gonna start spraying all the lawns with tenacity um, that you can seed with. So, but we're gonna get some of them before we start aerating and seeding. And somehow the fescue is loving this cool weather because even without any rain for like, I don't even know how long now, maybe three, four weeks now, it's been a while, any measurable rain. The, um, the grass is greening up, so it's just that little dew and then the, uh, 
the core temperatures, it loves it, but that ain't gonna last long. So Rachel's mowing that one right now. We went out and we're doing these two after we pruned that hedge, pro, I mean, pruned the wood line. She's gonna mow, she's mowing the back. I'm gonna weed eat a little bit. It didn't grow much. And then I'm gonna go back there with the sprayer and spray some tenacity on the lawn. And you mix tenacity, um, it's, what is it? For five gallons, I use two and a half tablespoons. It's a half a, a half a teaspoon to one gallon, I think it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray tenacity out on this lawn while she's mowing when she comes up to do the front. Um, you guys, if you use it, look at the label to see what it does, how to mix it. Make sure you have a license if you're spraying it on a client's yard, but it's supposed to be, it's really good for if you're gonna reseed lawns, you can spray this. So we're gonna go ahead and put this. So here's what the back of this one looks like. See all these weeds, we're gonna spray for these and see how it does. So see the that's the um we're gonna hope it kills all that and then we'll aerate and seed this one so let me go do that so we're done mowing and spraying this one i'm gonna see how long it took me to do Where it, is it? Right there. Oh, the wall, see it? oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah Come on. that's so cool isn't it that's the best we've ever gotten a white school yeah, it's like all pla look, it's all digging in the ground. Aww. And they really are white squirrels. It's not an albino squirrel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good picture of the white squirrel. Oh, so cute. You're so cute. You look like a little statue. Here's the <laughs> next one. Rachel's going to cut it all. I'm going to go ahead and weed eat and then spray the lawn for all these weeds, too, with the tenacity. Hoping it kills all this buttonwood. Hopefully. Yeah. this one I sprayed it and everything we cut a little higher before we sprayed it just leave some of the weeds there to get a good coating on them 
Um, and then when we come back in a week and a quarter, we'll cut it lower and aerate it and seed it. Got to do the ending on the boss's phone. Right? What, what are you doing? It's dark in here. You getting close? Stay on your side of the car, boss. It's dark. We're still in working hours. <laughs> you gotta stay on this side of the console during working hours. So, um, we ended up, you guys seen, gotten the border of that prune, pretty much almost all of it. Um, again, let me know what you guys think you would charge for that. We are charging 1060 to do that whole job, right? Yeah, to do the whole job. To do the pruning I showed you around the house and to prune the wood line, so. Mm -hmm. But we got that done, a half of that done, and then we sprayed two yards um, with tenacity and we mowed two yards, right? Mm -hmm. So not a bad day, not a bad day. Yeah. Tomorrow we're out mowing. So please like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And be happy. Or at least try. Have a good night.